Hi all, welcome to another video for Philips Tecon DDS-CAD. In the past years, DDS-CAD implemented the systems of ladder, conduit and cable trunking based on a technical polyline. One of the advantages of having these systems based on technical polyline is that now cables can run through the systems. But in this video though, I will show you some tips on how to properly edit the systems based on technical polyline. Before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and don't lose the next tips. Enjoy! I will start by modeling a ladder from scratch, okay? So in the electrical toolbox, come to ladder, I will start a ladder right here and insert some segments. Enter and then I would like to insert a branch here and another branch here. Okay, and escape to close the function. Now I would like to edit this ladder system. First, I will show you how not to do it. If you just click on a segment, you see black nodes in the endpoints and white nodes in the midpoints. If you just click on this black node here, you see the preview, it just stretches the segment. It's probably what you don't want to do. Or if you click on the white node, it just insert a new node. It's also probably what you don't want to have. So let me undo it. Okay? How to do it properly? You click one time, click for the second time, and you see two parallel nodes. You click on a node, and you can move parallel by moving your cursor. Or to the other direction, you click on the, on the, on the other segment direction, and you can move up or down. Okay? Now, what if I would like to remove these segments here, this branch? You select the branch and you click on the delete key. But then we have a T. How to convert this to a band? You simply remove the T and it's automatically converted to a band. What if you'd like to remove this branch here? You just click delete key and the T is automatically removed and the system is still intact. What if you'd like to select one of these elements, like the ladder or the fitting, like the band? You click one time, click for the second time, and you see only the element is highlighted. And in the properties, you see here the description of the product, and you can click on the three dots button to access the product database, okay? Now let's try with a conduit. Start the conduit function, click, 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 then I want to go closer here and I would like to climb over to avoid the clash. Now escape to close the function. You already know how not to do it, so let's show how to do it. Click one time, click for the second time and you only see one black knot close to the midpoint and you move to the left, to the right with your cursor, or if you like, you can insert the length by using your arrow keys. Since it's parallel to the left or to the right, I can go one meter to the left by pressing the arrow key to the left, and then I insert the length one meter. Or to go up or down, I select, now let's select this one, click on the nod, and then I would like to go one meter down. So arrow key down, one meter, all right? Now let's see if it also works in 3D. But let's go to 3D. And we see that this climb over was very far away from, from the origin, uh, uh, original conduit, the, the conduit below. Click one time, and in this case, the, the the knot is already here. If it's not, like, let's try this way. If it's not, you have to click for a second time. You see this knot here, it's circular. Click and you can move or you can use your arrow keys as well, okay? Did you like these tips? What other type of tips you would like to receive from DDS CAD? Put it on your comment below and I make a video for you.
Cheers!